Okay guys, what is up? Uh, so today I'm just going to do a, a little bit of, of an update here on my impression. So yeah, starting from here and move on over there. So here I have a folding shovel and I need you guys to actually help me if airborne troops during D-Day used the M1943 folding shovel or the T-handle shovel. Um, I've seen guys have the folding shovel, but yeah, I just put 100 first. I already had this for a while, and I was a little bit of a not too good on my impression. It's loud, huh? It's gonna be really loud, so headphone users rip. I don't know if that was loud enough, but yeah. Uh, my am winning with Thompson. I got it from Airsoft Next Store. I will be changing the sling. I will be changing the sling, um, got for around 80 bucks, it's a pretty good deal, and here, I have a reproduction canteen cup, and a reproduction canteen, and for some reason they don't actually fit in the same spot, there's a little gap there, you can, yeah, it's only that little gap that's actually open. The other way. And that'll work. No, it's gonna make the same thing. But I probably will be getting original, original canteen cup and canteen itself. So yeah. Um, a pineapple grenade. Spray painted it to make it look like a real grenade. So yeah. Uh, when you first airborne, or airborne. First aid, first aid. I'm not going to be putting this on the helmet because that wasn't historically correct. I mean, some people do it, but I don't do it. I'm just going to put it on the splendors. Um, and my pla uh, and I'm 1911 pistol, airsoft. My jump wings. I got for about seven dollars at a surplus store. I got the silver backings. There's a little number there. A serial number or something like the number. I don't know what that. Ah, oh, crud. Okay. Yeah, there is a number there. If you guys know what that means, this number means it's P16507. So, yeah. What is it? Wait, let me see. Yeah, it's P1. No. Wait. Yeah, it's like that. Okay. Next is a shoulder holster. Now, not many of the troops were issued 1911 pistols, but let's just say I was issued one, so yeah. Um, so let's move on to the helmet. I'll put this one for last, that's a really important part. This one. Okay, this is a Vietnam shell. And yeah. It's a Vietnam show. It's the only thing I can say about it. Okay, so this is a Vietnam show itself. Okay, it has original Vietnam markings. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know. If it's, I don't know how that. But yet yeah, it is dated one one five two one, and that means that it's an Ingersoll helmet. So yeah, and it was staged in the early parts of Vietnam. So. Yeah, I'm planning to get one, but it's going to be a front seam, a front seam M1 helmet, front seam. This one in particular is a rear seam, of course. Um, I put World War II chin straps on it, but I'm not going to be using this because it's not historically correct. There goes my liner, which is, again, a Vietnam liner. Um, yeah. Okay, so, um, oh crap, oh crap, oh, I thought I actually broke him, like, what the heck? It was just this stud that came off, so, let's snap that. Okay, so, so everything on the inside is restored, um, you know, swept band, everything restored. Chin strap, these, or, uh, chin strap itself is a olive, that's the olive version, not the black version. It's the olive green version, not the black version. So, yeah. 
In fact, this is the only part that's black. Wait, no, the, these a washes are black too. I guess it's just the chin strap that's black, I think. Oh, wait, no, the t degree. So, yeah, it's a Vietnam liner. I could prove that by turning on my horrible flashlight. And I'm proving it to you by, it says down there, M27. My finger looks a bit nasty because I actually spray painted the this some of them I'm going to be getting to right now. Oh, it's bright. Yeah, just kidding. Okay, okay. Okay. So. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put that back. And hello. Hello, shorts. Okay. Here. World War II liner, of course. And it's not restored. Okay, the real thing is is that I got a World War II line just that everything was torn up and it was growing that weird blue stuff that old helmets or old things tend to grow. Um, yeah. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Um, this is a double stamped itself. It's a double stamped liner. As you can see, it uh, has a CAPC. Stamp and a Westinghouse stamp, so yeah. I gotta wash my finger, it's gross, okay. So, I'm gonna just turn my flashlight again. So, um, I'm going to be restoring this, um, sometime in the future. I'm going to be making a paratrooper um, helmet uh, liner, so it has the um, yolks or Y yolks. I don't know, I don't know what those are called. It has the leather chin strap, and the first leather chin strap, and then the leather chin cup. But the thing that I'm kind of worried about is that I have to add the snap on chin straps right here. Somewhere around this part right here. If you want me to do it, or agree with me that I should do it, well then I will do it. And if I don't, and if you don't agree with me, well, then I will not do it. The reason why my helmet looks a bit quirky or weird like that is because I put cork on it for some reason. Minor. So, yeah. Um, this is everything. I have a particular well, it's really got messy. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I want helmet liner, Vietnam. I want helmet, Rubble Juice style. Purchase first aid, 1911, 1911 holster. Um, uh, was um, wings, uh, grenade, Thompson, canteen cup, and canteen itself, um, and the folding shovel. So remember, guys, tell me in the comments if folding shovels or T-handle shovels were used, and, yeah, uh, that's it. Okay, guys, so, see you guys later. Peace out.